it is Monday morning, February 13th, also my granddaughter's birthday. She's five today. Happy birthday, Lily. I love you. Um, so I have one finished object, which is the poncho that I was working on. It is a bag of day uh, pattern. And also I have some whips. And I'm going to start with the whips first. Um, so I had these centers already done. This is for um, the uh, starburst throw and I'm using the uh, loops and threads impeccable yarn for these. So the centers were already done but I squared off 14 of these this weekend. So I have a you know, whole, whole pile of them here. 14 of them that I squared off. And I still need to sew the strings into all of them. So that's one whip. And then, um, I need to apologize first. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. I apologize if you hear any stomach rumbling noises. I'm a little on the hungry side. I, I do intermittent fasting and this is about the time that I start getting a little hungry. <laughs> I always stop eating at 3.30 in the afternoon and I don't eat again until at least 9.30. I usually try to go longer than that. <laughs> so I'm right at a little past 9.30 so it's been about 18 hours. Um, so <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should do this now with all this noise going on. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, so, I am really enjoying working on this uh, Wheatberry Afghan, this Hirschner's Wheatberry Afghan. Um, but like I said, the yarn that I'm using for this one is the Big Twist. So this one's just going to be mine. When I go to do, when I go to make the one for my sister, I will use better yarn. <laughs> and if there are anything, if, if any discoloration comes out of them at all, I will cut them out and, you know, reattach. And I've had some discoloration in this yarn. Um... I had one spot come out pink, I had one come out dark purple, just in like two different spots. But anyway, this is the yarn that I'm using for that. 380 yards, 6 ounces, 347 meters, 170 grams. It is a four weight yarn, 100% acrylic. And this is the color cream. And I am one third of the way done. So I'm right at about 20 inches and it says to work it until it gets to about 60 inches. So when I measured it last night it was 20 inches up and down this way. And here is the back which is kind of visually interesting. So there you go. I love it. Can't wait to get started on it on the other, using the other yarn. But I can't wait to get this one finished too. <laughs> this one's going to be mine. So that's another whip. And then I also worked a little bit on the Sudoku blanket. I uh, wasn't paying attention and realize that I still need to go around one more time on each of these. Um, so here is square number five. I still need to go around one more time. And then here is square number six. And all of them piled together, six squares. I got three more to do. So there you go for that. 
loops and threads impeccable for all of those and the, I have to say the ones that the colors that I don't like because they're super stringy and not twisted tight is the royal blue and the black very very loose twist and it splits so easy and it's aggravating um, I also did a couple of uh, a couple of rows on my bath sheet probably can't tell much since I only did a couple rows but this is um, I'm gonna knock my yarn off of the table here so this is gonna be the up and down this is gonna grow out the rest of the way very very long and it's gonna be a while before I get this done okay and that is that whip right there and I'm using a four and a half millimeter hook on that this yarn is um, I love this cotton and it is in the color sage now it calls for a five and a half millimeter and it is uh, three and a half ounces 100 grams 180 yards 165 meters my favorite color sage <clears throat> okay uh, oh yes and since my my niece is getting married in September I figure I better get to moving on this table runner so I will show you where I'm at with that so these are my where I keep my rolls right here this is the yarn art begonia and this is what I'm using to square them off uh, this is one of them so this is okay yarn art begonia this is color number 326 and I have that burned and etched into my head because I also used this one to make a tablecloth for my nephew and his wife two years ago and then for my niece the one that's getting married for the tablecloth that I just made her this past Christmas I used color number 6294 that's edged in my head too but I will leave a picture of that I know I showed it before but I'll go ahead and show it again and uh, I will also put in a picture of right here of my nephew's tablecloth that I made for him and his wife two years ago and they are expecting their third child in August <laughs> so here is the uh, yarn art begonia it is a two weight yarn 50 grams 1.76 ounces 169 meters 185 yards it's a 100 percent mercerized cotton and so that is what I'm using to put around each one so this right here are all the, the centers the flowers that have gotten done but still need strings sewn in I don't know what this was from but I've been using this little zipper pouch for years. It's actually got a little pocket inside there too. So that's the ones that still need the strings sewn in. And here are all the ones that do have the strings sewn in. And here is what I have gotten done so far. So this is how wide it's going to be. Their table is 48 inches by 80 inches. And uh, so I'm making this, this is, uh, I didn't measure it. Anyway, there's six squares long or wide. And I don't know yet how many squares long it's going to be. Uh, I'm probably going to try and make it as long as I made the tablecloth which was ended up being 
117 inches long so I don't know it's probably going to be that long but anyway this is just how wide it's going to be <clears throat> so that is what I've gotten so far and I really like this a lot now this pattern uh, is by the youtuber nautical land cro crocheting and knitting I love her channel so much. I, I've i used so many of her patterns on different things. Oh my gosh, I just love her stuff. Uh, her patterns are absolutely gorgeous. And there are so many patterns on her channel that I want to do that I have not done yet. Oh. <laughs> Don't know if I'll ever have time to get them all done. But oh my gosh, you have to go check her out. I will link her channel below and... Her videos are very relaxing, the music that plays while she's doing it. And it's, watching her crochet is very therapeutic. And I do not know, she must starch her, her thread, her yarn, before she uses it. Because hers never look as loose as mine do while she's crocheting. Or I need to tighten up, I don't know. Anyway, I love her channel, I love her patterns go check her out she's great um, so now on to my finished object I am interrupting the video to promote my niece's YouTube channel it is back up um, she is a 13 year old guitarist she's really good and she does a lot of covers around town um, she does mostly classic rock which I do like but, I mean, it's not exactly my music that I listen to now, but I do like it. And uh, she's really good. So I am going to link her channel in the description box below. If you want to go ahead and give her a listen, give her a like, subscribe to her channel. She's really good. And back to the regular clips. One finished object. My uh, poncho. This is a bag of day poncho. So thank you, Crystal, for providing the tutorial for this. Okay, get this straightened out. So there you go. There is my poncho all finished. love it. Absolutely love it. Hey. So I, I did wear this outside, but I decided I'd probably better just keep it and maybe wear it down here in the basement. There's too many things out in the garage because usually when I'm outside, I go out through the garage to go in the backyard. <laughs> and there are too many things that could just like grab a hold of this and snag it and tear it and then I would cry. We don't want that. But I love the color. I really wish that it had been I love this yarn. This is the big twist, which I don't care for, but in the end, I still love this. And I love the the cowl neck on it. So there you go. Now I do have Happy Mail, but it's gonna have to wait for another video because it's not in yet. Um, it's supposed to be in sometime today. Uh, and I also have an item that I ordered from Amazon that I want to show. So for right now, that's gonna do it. If I get the stuff in today and I also know that there's a card in there if I if I get it all today then there might be another video later maybe otherwise it'll be tomorrow that I will do happy mail so uh, if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it and I will see you all tomorrow have a great day bye bye